Hi, this is Hope from HopeYoder.com and this is a craft and cut tutorial for using fonts or text. Click on New to open a new page. Click on Text and then click anywhere in the white area. Type in the text that you'd like. And notice you have true type text and these will be any fonts that are built in to your computer or you do have fonts that are available inside the program. Let's scroll down and use this font. We can click Apply to get the text to come into the pane. I'd like to work in inches. Right now I'm in millimeters and I can tell by looking here. Hover your mouse over the toolbar, right click, left click in inches. Perfect. Now when I click, you can see that I am in inches. And let's go to about three inches click apply. Double click on the magnifying glass to bring this into screen. I'm at 77%. Let me zoom out a little bit to 50%. To get off the zoom feature, click on the select. Now with the text, notice I've got text that I can move around. You can go under Artwood Work Fill and select None if you like to view it this way or I prefer to have a solid pattern. Click Apply. To activate all the fun text tools, with the item selected, click on Text again. And let me zoom in. Notice how you have the yellow and the blue icons. These do different things. Don't be afraid to just click on them and play with them. The blue icons will spread the letters closer or further apart. The yellow icons help you move the items above and below or in any direction that you want. So if you wanted to stagger your letters, you would grab onto the yellow. Here's your undo button. You can hit undo to undo each letter or a faster way is to right click inside and click reset frame. Let's do something fun with this. Notice I still have all the different features activated and you can tell by seeing the blue and the yellow. I also have this button. Let's drag this up and down and let me zoom out so that you can see this better. So I can do anything that I want to. I'm only limited by my imagination. So I could make circular fonts. That doesn't look very good so let's right click, left click on reset frame. Another idea is to right click and you do have some envelope styles that are most commonly used. For instance, here's a pendant that maybe is used for cheerleaders or mascots. You can drag this to create just the right size that you want. Make this a little bit bigger. Let's zoom in by double clicking. That looks pretty good. What if I wanted this to be a different color? It's simple. Come down to your toolbar and then just change the color. Let's reset this one more time by right clicking and left click on reset frame. Let's change the text. Let's do a monogram and we'll do A, B, C. Click apply. This is at three inches high. That sounds pretty good. Double click on the magnifying glass. That gets me to 236%. Let's zoom out a little bit to 200%. Let's zoom out a little more. Would you like to create your own circle monograms? These are great to use with vinyl. Simply drag up and down and space these however you'd like to get them perfectly aligned. Remember, if you don't like it, the quickest way to go back is right click and reset frame. Let's see what one of the built-in envelope styles looks like. This gives me a nice area and I can exaggerate it even more if I wish. Reset frame. Now, I've shown you a lot of things to use text tool. Let's go over into the artwork fill pattern. We showed you solid and none but here's something fun, pattern. Once you select pattern, you can select the dots and there's some built-in patterns that you may 
want to choose from. For instance, this gray herringbone is kind of fun. That would show you what this would look like using a gray herringbone. What if you wanted to add your own? Let's say you purchased vinyl from somebody and you wanted to see what it would look like with a vinyl. That's really easy. Click on Add. You'll need an image on your desktop. I've selected Camo Vinyl. Find it, click on Open, and then it puts it in the pane alphabetically. So let's choose Camo Vinyl. Open, and now you can see what this would look like if you purchased Camo Vinyl. Now that you've designed your masterpiece, the next step is to export it. Go under File, Export Artwork, name it, and then choose the file you want to save it as. SVG is a generic file, works with most die cutting machine, FCM, fabric cutting machine. For the scan and cut, DXF works in the Silhouette Cameo Designer Edition, and then you have your plotter file for most commercial machines. Thanks, and I'll see you next time for some more videos.